Guys, it's here! Okay, so I'm gonna pop right into it. Please, Patreon referral code down below. And here we go. I'm gonna read it all right now. What to expect in Earth 2. Sorry about that. A new world and course, and of course imaginations are running wild. A new year and it's our job to define at least a few guidelines to give a little orientation what you can expect in the next months and yes, years, because Earth 2 will not, like Earth 1, be built in seven days. We are only human. We currently define Earth 2 internally as the haven we would have needed last year, end quote. We probably should not try to make a living of naming genres. Uh, not included in this definition are terms like sandbox and trade and simulation and some more just for space reasons, but they too will become part of the overall experience. This is a rather broad terrain, admittedly, but it allows us the flexibility we need after all, it's very hard, and here decades of game design experience teach us not to allow ourselves to kill options at such an early stage, at the same time set expectations too high. Basically what that means is that, oh hey, here's an item we might need later, let's not get rid of it. Moving on. Uh, so we prefer to remain cautious at this point in time, rather than going too far ahead. Phase 2 will allow you to mine resources and optimize this process through the successive tiers of research and production always depending on the land you own, the things you do with it, and the buildings you decide to build. Okay, so that right there pretty much means that uh, there's going to be a tech tree, and you might not be able to do certain things until you unlock it in the tech tree. How you're gonna be able to do that, maybe you have to mine certain things a certain amount of times, you unlock something else, uh, keep going. No land on Earth 2 is unusable, meaning that they just, every piece of land can be used. Every tile will produce something. However, comma, it is possible that its special usefulness will only be revealed in a later tier. For example, if you're sitting on a literal gold mine, yes, that surely will come in handy soon. <laughs> For all of you that bought gold mines. Uh, but some people may be sitting on a metaphorical one without even realizing it for years until suddenly a formerly undiscovered raw material under their soil becomes the most important element for an exciting new technology demanded by basically everyone. Okay, so breaking that down real quick. Yes, a lot of things maybe outside of oil deposits, but some things as far as gold, silver mines, uranium, whatever it is, that is going to be very useful right away. But a good reason not to sell any of your tiles right now, even if it doesn't do anything currently, it could spawn something that isn't available right now and becomes one of the most powerful players in the game. Remember in uh, Dragon Ball Z when Android 18, um, I'm sorry, Android 16 had his bomb taken out by Bulma, but Bulma says, we gave him a few upgrades and he should be one of the most amazing fighters we have. And he was considered weak at that point. Basically now what you're getting is uh, tiles that might not do anything right now, but in the future could spawn some crazy thing known as nobility or whatever, and it's able to do something crazy. And that's just part one of the update. There's four parts to here. Part two, this is where we will begin, and we aim to start rolling out parts of phase two in a few weeks from now. So this is gonna be done in parts over a couple of, uh, couple of weeks. You will find that your land starts producing essence. Essence is the basis of everything. It reflects the place you own, knows what's in the ground, and in, um, knows what's in the ground, and in later upgrades, will be able to reproduce it. So you could take Essence and it could produce really whatever you want. We also plan for a teleportation system in Earth 2 around this time. The teleportation system will allow other users to teleport to your property. Larger properties will be able to register a more premium teleportation name, which makes 100% sense. If you have a small thing and maybe only a couple people are coming to it each day, there's not gonna be a huge line. But for someone, again, cream rises to the top and you have this amazing thing that everyone wants to go to, Maybe you get a bigger teleportation system, <coughs> or it's easier to find, whatever it is. Um, after users have a fair warning to take advantage of this incredibly important teleportation system, we will also add the ability for users to then subdivide their properties if they should still feel the wish to do so, uh, which is incredible. I love that. A little further down the road, we will also improve the tile class system to make it fit the new game experience. And there will be the option for PvP at some point in Phase 2. A PvP system beneficial to most, if not all, of those who opt in. Phase 2 will largely be about adding more purpose and ability to your land, customizing it, adding things to it, using it, and more. We will release further details of these features as they become confirmed 
from within. But all this serves one single purpose, that you will be able to hit the ground running on that very special day sometime in the future. <laughs> the day when Earth 2 goes surface becomes an open 3D world and over time offers more buildings and materials and research and possibilities to develop your properties. We know this is important to you. It is important to us too. But we prefer to make promises that are not easily broken. Therefore, we cannot say exactly when this exciting day will come. All of this will last a while, as all MMOs do. But to give you a glimpse of how we will look, we will release a video of Earth 2 Terrain System very soon, which will show you how far we have come already. Ah! Okay, and that's part two. Here comes part three. At some point, you will surely have your own avatar, and it will be highly customizable. <laughs> we want individuals roaming Earth 2. We want you to have your own house. We want you to meet each other, communicate, build communities to experience this new world together. Guidebook Gaming, this is part of it, I'm just going off on my own here. <coughs> Guidebook Gaming already has this amazing community that he wants. And I haven't told you guys this, but the tiles he gives away are in communities that he's already been building. As far as saying, okay, this is a road, this is gonna be a place, it's gonna be a park. He's already got it mapped in his head where all the tiles are, it's incredible. Uh, little by little, over the years, Earth 2 intends to expand into a complex simulation. We dream of players being able to work together and design joint strategies in order to give each other access to higher technologies and access higher levels of Earth 2 experience. Uh, <laughs> colon. We dream of all kinds of entertainment and businesses and chances to build communities of all sorts, raising the value of your lands. Oh my god. Bit by bit, we are currently planning to add various games, without going into any details now, the elements of which you can produce inside the economic simulation, use for your own benefit on Earth 2, trade them or use them in competitive games you yourself might invent, there will be a common resource market, which will also depend on the technologies developed in Earth 2. Uh, basically what I was saying before, uh, stuff that you can resource if I have a bunch of wood or ice or whatever, and the game offers you something, I will offer you something much better than that, um, just to help everyone out. There will be a PvE and PvP challenges. Uh, in our vision, all the structures of Earth 2 will connect into one big social experience. So what that means is maybe you have a mainframe going and in this mainframe you could look up oh, exactly where how many people are, what they're doing, uh, if you choose to opt into it and you just to look what's going on right now. It's kind of like that app that says what uh, what spots are hot today where you can connect into the security cameras of uh, each place and see how many people are there. Uh, that's something that they might be able to do here in Earth too. And this is about as far as we can see with reasonable certainty. It is something like this... Sorry, it is something like this that we intend to create. Of course, we plan to build a big team for all this with the most skilled developers from the industry. In fact, we've already begun to build that team and we know that we will mis we will make mistakes along the way. We will learn from them and then, after failing uh, better a few times, we will eventually do it right. There will be emerging opportunities for the players of Earth 2 that we wouldn't even think of right now. It's something that'll just be down the line that it'll come to them like, oh, it'd be cool if we did this. Phase 1 has shown us this, and then a time may dawn on Earth 2 when you, us, the players, can use this place as a platform for your own businesses, your own developments, in a time when you can basically sign your own Declaration of Independence. What that means is we'll be able to take, make so much money with this, and we could walk away from our jobs. We could walk away from whatever, and I've talked about this before. I'll go slightly into it now because there's another part I want to get to. If you're making $80,000 a year or let's make it a hundred thousand dollars a year and you can afford this you know house whatever but you're not happy and you will be happier making eighty thousand dollars a year i swear to you that is going to be your best bet it's not even a competition if you're making 80 and you're miserable but you're much happier making 50 trust me trust me on that uh, moving on to part four that is the dream or at least a big part of it We still have some even wilder things up our sleeves to make this dream come true We need you to your patience constructive criticism devotion and forgiveness whenever we make a mistake Nobody ever built a second earth. It's really an untrodden path at least for humans. We are excited to meet you on earth, too. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. All right, so I'm going to go back scrolling to Earth 1 real quick, uh, or to, to the part 1 real quick. Um, the only human, but last year. Okay, so needing some more space for reasons. Um, sandbox, they will allow us broader terrain. 
All right, so there might be some things right now um, that aren't... Well, okay, we have all the weather. We have the ice ice planets like Antarctica. We have sandboxes like Kuwait and Afghanistan. Maybe there will be, uh, like, again, that essence and other types of things that they didn't think of. They could possibly terraform unbought tiles and make it something completely different, where it's a land of just essence. That would be insane. Uh, so phase two... That's coming shortly. Uh, mining resources in successive tiers. So maybe once you, you're you only allowed to produce one resource every day or something on one, each tile, but then after you complete tasks or do whatever and you go through the technology tree, now suddenly you double that and are able to uh, get two resources per tile. This is insane for all of us that got early that have hundreds and thousands of tiles. That is absolutely bananas. They are really taking care of us early ones here. No land on Earth 2 is unusable. Every tile will produce something. That is absolutely bananas. Again, right now, they're saying that um, it, some, some, sometimes it won't. It won't right now because it'll produce something amazing later. That We don't know what time, what that will be, but maybe they have some uber technology that is going to be wanted by everyone and you're the only one that has it. And it could be in the middle of nowhere. It could be somewhere like maybe it's on a silver mine where they're mining commodities, but it's not mining anything right now. Why would they do that? Because they have something even greater planned for the future. The economics for this is, I believe, unbelievable right now because we don't have... Um, we don't have any reason to sell right now. There is no reason to sell. I'm not selling. I actually bought Antarctica from a friend of mine this morning. Um, 750 tiles uh, for th for like $365. So I got it like like 20 something percent off. Um, I I cannot wait until I, I'm literally I, boxes in the car. I'm literally moving right now. I had to make this update specifically for you guys. All right, I love you. I will do another video on this tonight. I love you all. Class dismissed. Meow meow.